Thank you, Anna. It is a pleasure to be back here to provide an update on Vivani Medical at this conference. Um, as a reminder, I'm Adam Mendelson, the CEO and one of the co-founders of Vivani Medical, where we are trying to make chronic disease treatments easier, more convenient, and potentially more tolerable with very long-acting subdermal implants that can provide steady levels of medication for chronic disease treatments over many months at a time, beginning with the very popular GLP-1 agonist class that is being used for weight management and diabetes. Now, I'm excited to share a small update from our last presentation with you, but before I get there, let me quickly provide a little bit of additional background on what we're doing to remind you of what our company is about. Here, this slide has an image of the very tiny implant that we are developing for long-term chronic disease management. You can see it's very small. Um, it's going to be inserted in the upper arm of a patient in a very simple outpatient procedure. And we have a tool that facilitates the insertion, as you can see on the bottom right. And the technology that is inside of this product is unique, it's patented, and it enables long-term sustained levels of medication. Um, and this is being applied in, in a variety of ways, initially for GLP-1 agonists, a drug called Exenatide, which is in two um, products that are already on the market today with indications for type 2 diabetes. Our lead program is evaluating a high-dose version of this compound for weight management. We have shown in preclinical studies earlier this year comparable weight loss as injections of semaglutide in a diet-induced obese mouse study. Uh, that we were very excited uh, to see and to present um, uh, in February of this year. Uh, but we also have a program evaluating this product in the treatment of, of diabetes, that's NPM119. We have a semaglutide uh, product in our pipeline, that's NPM139, and we have a partnership with an animal health company uh, evaluating the same GLP-1 implant for companion uh, felines. Now, what's new since the last presentation that I gave, uh, where I indicated that we were expecting to initiate our clinical study, Liberate One, in the fourth quarter of this year, is that we obtained approval from the regulatory authorities in Australia to be able to begin this study. So this was very exciting for us. Uh, we remain on track to be able to uh, initiate the study um, and uh, have the study results available in the middle of 2025. And also as a reminder of what it is that we are going to be evaluating, uh, we intend to enroll 24 patients. Uh, these patients will be titrated on semaglutide injections for a period of eight weeks, at which time they will be randomized to receive our GLP-1 implant. Uh, the once weekly exenatide product that is on the market today called Bidurian and one milligram a semaglutide. Uh, the results of this study we think should be very informative and very valuable. Uh, first and foremost, it will uh, hopefully confirm that the excellent performance of our device technology that we have observed in animal studies uh, translates in a human clinical setting. In addition, uh, we will obtain data that will allow us to compare the pharmacokinetics uh, of our implant with Bidurian, which is the product that is already on the market. And we intend to use this information to support an abbreviated approval strategy in which we reference the safety data that has already been demonstrated with Bidurian, in addition to additional clinical data that we generate with our uh, exenatide GLP-1 implant. And lastly, we will be able to uh, describe how both the weight changes as well as tolerability uh, compare with one milligram semaglutide in the second active comparator group. Uh, this information will, uh, we think, be very valuable in setting up uh, a second study that we anticipate conducting after this one is over based on the results of this first study in which we would evaluate multiple different doses of our implant, including higher doses that we expect to have more uh, compelling weight effects. 
uh, as a part of defining the dose that could go into a subsequent third, possibly registrational study uh, to support approval down the road. Uh, this will be the very first time a nanoporous membrane-based drug delivery technology uh, will be evaluated in a human setting. Uh, we are very excited for this technology to finally become clinical stage, and we anticipate uh, the results of this helping support not just continued development of our GLP-1 implant for weight management and diabetes, but also to provide clinical validation of the technology, uh, which we intend to apply more broadly across a variety of chronic diseases with different molecules as we proceed. Uh, and uh, as a result, we think that 2025 could be a transformational year uh, for us at Bavani Medical. And with that, I'll just wrap up with reminding everyone uh, that at Bavani Medical, we are an innovative company uh, in the biopharmaceutical space, developing a portfolio of ultra long acting drug implants for chronic disease treatments uh, that our motivation to develop these implants is a result of real world medication adherence rates that are only around 50%. Uh, there are around 125,000 unnecessary patient deaths per year that could, are attributable to people not taking their medicine as prescribed. Uh, and there are about $500 billion in avoidable healthcare expenses associated with medication non-adherence. And our implants are intended to provide an option for physicians and patients and the caregivers of patients to be able to select from that we anticipate will be an appealing option for a meaningful segment of patients that suffer from chronic diseases so that everyone involved in the ecosystem of someone's care can be assured that that patient is receiving the medication that the physician has recommended uh, for that patient. Um, as a reminder, our lead program, NPM 115, is evaluating our six month exenatide GLP-1 implant uh, for chronic weight management in obese and overweight patients. And the first clinical study we have approval for now and expect to begin shortly. Uh, we are also evaluating the same implant. Uh, uh, you're developing a program to evaluate them in patients with diabetes as part of an effort to ultimately obtain a type two diabetes indication as well, as well as uh, a couple of other programs in our pipeline. And our current position uh, puts us in a, in, in a great place to be able to execute on these milestones and uh, hopefully generate some value in the coming months ahead as this clinical trial unfolds and proceeds. Uh, with that, thank you very much for having me back for this update. Um, and uh, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the conference.